Okay, I did some figures for St. Kitts and St. Lucia for fees that won't come back to you that you're actually paying in and did a comparison between uh, the two countries. And I wanted to go over a few things on the visa-free travel. Also uh, on the um, number of, uh, or the, the tax laws that's involved and, and then give you the figures. And you can, I, I actually didn't detail the figures. I, I just did a one lump sum showing you what you would end up paying to save time on the video. Also, folks, if you want to legally get around high income taxes or how to get a second passport as quick as four to eight months, two, three things, hit the subscribe button at the right of your screen right here and you'll get new videos automatically as they come out. And number two, so I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, put it below and uh, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com and just ask for some help. Okay, now St. Kitts, uh, it was ranked as a, right now as the 24th best passport in the world with 157 visa-free countries, uh, either visa-free or visa-free on arrival territories and countries. And St. Lucia was the uh, 33rd uh, best passport with 146 countries. Now, let me go over some things on the tax laws and stuff. Uh, you actually can live in St. Lucia, totally income tax-free, but let's look at St. Kitts first. Uh, St. Lucia's top tax bracket is 30%. Uh, but if income from a non-local St. Lucia company is made outside of uh, St. Lucia and you reside in St. Lucia, you're taxed only on remitted income. It's got, it's got a system similar to Thailand's uh, program. Now, um, now, of course, St. Kitts doesn't have any income tax. So you can actually have a local company and not pay any income tax at all. And these figures I'm going to give you, too, are for, um, uh, for one person getting citizenship with both citizenship programs. Uh, and what most people don't realize is the fees, uh, which I'm going to show you here, are actually uh, cheaper with St. Kitts uh, on fees that you're paying out that's not going to come back to you than with St. Lucia. So you, you're going to have to study these figures and you'll, you'll see how it works. Okay, now, um, also dividends and capital gains that are made uh, outside of St. Lucia is not taxed either. Now, of course, uh, uh, St. Kitts is a pure tax haven, so you don't have taxes on either one of those. Now, let's look at the first option, which is the National Economic Fund with St. Lucia. All right, now this is a, a basically you're giving the money to the government here. Okay, so none of this is invested. It's all going out. You, you won't recoup anything from this. Your total fees on this would be $111,210 U.S. dollars. Uh, now, this doesn't include legal and professional fees. I actually left that out on all three of them because it depends on what you work out, depending on the lawyer you hire, so I can't give you a definite figure. Only thing I can give you definite figures on are figures that are definite, okay? Now, the National Action Bond Fund is the other option you have with St. Lucia, and there are a, 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 another. there is another option with uh, St. Lucia, but the, uh, the option, these are the two most popular ones I'm showing you here. Uh, and the National Action Bond Fund is where you invest 300000 in some uh, their bonds in uh, St. Lucia. And um, this, again, doesn't include the legal professional fee. Your total fees on this would be $361,210. U.S. Now, again, let me rehash these figures for you again. The National Economic Fund is $111,210. The National Action Bond Fund the amount of fees that you're actually paying out is $61,210 because the other $300,000 is going towards the bonds. So again, the total is $361,210 on the bond program. And then $61,210 is in fees that you're not going to get back. And again, this doesn't include the legal professional fee on any of these three. Okay. Now, the third option I'm going to show you is if you go with the St. Kitts, uh, and this is with the real estate option, not with a donation option. I would not advise you to go with a donation option with St. Kitts. We deal with the uh, uh, with uh, uh, Antigua and also St. Lucia's donation option, and you would be better off going with that option if you're comparing it with St. Kitts's donation option. Okay. Now, St. Kitts's real estate option is different. Your total fees on this is forty eight thousand nine hundred fifty six dollars. Again, the St. Kitts. Real estate option, a total is 48956 on the National Bond Fund, it's 61210 And then on the National Economic Fund, is $111,210. So even with St. Kitts having more visa-free countries, a pure tax saving, with no income tax, no capital gains tax, no estate tax, no inheritance tax, 
uh, has cheaper fees that won't come back to you on a party of one getting citizenship than St. Lucia on either one of their most popular programs, okay? Now, again, you're going to have to purchase, though, 400000 in the property. Now, it, the property is, the rate of return you're going to get on the property is dependent on the rental income that you get from that and what you pay for it, what you sell it for. I can't really tell you, you, you know, what you're going to do on that. All I can tell you, properties have done real well in St. Kitts, so you're going to have to, that would be, you know, uh, something you would have to decide based on what you pay for it and what you sell it for. But one thing I can tell you about the bond program, it's 100%. You're not going to get any interest on that at all. You're only getting back the principal of your money. So if you can double your 300000 and you know, uh, 6, 12, or whatever years that you, you uh, of course, you're only going to hold it five years because you have to hold this for a five-year period before you can take it out. Obviously, you want to take it out five years because you're not getting interest on it. But let's say in five years, you could have doubled your money somewhere, Okay. Then you know that three hundred thousand. You know, one hundred percent. You're not going to get anything on top of that. Whereas in the real estate, you'd get in, you'd get a rental income, and then whatever your capital appreciation is on your your property. And again, the minimum on St. Kitts real estate is four hundred thousand that you would have to purchase. Uh, so again, the fees would be about uh, roughly around eleven thousand less with St. Kitts's real estate option than either one of St. Lucia's. National Action Bond Fund or the National Economic Fund. And this is for a party one person. And, and, and I left, again, the legal and professional fee out on all three of them. If you want to know more on this, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and just ask for some help. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, just put it below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button right on your screen right here, and you get new videos automatically as they come out. And I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Take care.